what we're doing is essentially three things. We do give the cenotaph anywhere a good wash and brush up once a year, um, but this time we're steam cleaning it very carefully because we don't want to erode the lettering and so forth. Secondly, we're using quite advanced chemical poultices to draw out some of the real deep down dirt. Now that gathers for, for two reasons. Firstly, there are plane trees around the cenotaph uh, and the sap and so forth does gather and stick. And that problem is made worse by the diesel fumes, the diesel particulates that form a particularly grey, black, gunky mix that, that settles particularly in any ledges and crevices. So we're using these poultices that we put on, it's kind of like a rubbery glue that you leave on overnight and then you peel it off and with the poultice comes the deep down muck. And actually right in the cracks of the letter you can just see some slight remnants of this. And then secondly, we've been very, very carefully using diamond edge tools, taking out the old pointing between the stones, which has been there since 1920, and very carefully replacing it with a mix of lime mortar, which has got Portland stone, which is what the cenotaph's made of, ground up Portland stone mixed in with it to give a, a very close finish to the stonework. The cenotaph is the nation's war memorial. And of course every 11th of November on Armistice Day it is the, the focus for national remembrance, not just of the First World War, but of the Second World War and subsequent wars. But obviously in 2014 it will have a particular place in national, indeed uh, worldwide commemoration and remembrance. So it's so important that English Heritage, which has responsibility for this, uh, does make sure the, the cenotaph is returned as much as possible to its original state. And I think when it's unveiled uh, in the middle of August, when we take the, the scaffolding, the hoarding down, the cenotaph, particularly on a sunny day, will really glow white again as a centrepiece in Whitehall alongside Westminster Abbey.